Hello, on behalf of expertvillage.com, my name is Brian Pemberton and we're here at the reserve at Spanos Park. Today we're going to talk about uh, a shot that really you see a lot more on TV and some of the pros hitting it, but it's how to basically spin a shot and what you can do to actually get a ball to spin more in certain, in certain circumstances where you'd want the ball to actually get on the green and stop really quick. Uh, you have two choices there. You can hit it a really lofted shot. And again, sometimes you'll see a player hit a shot that's a lower trajectory with a lot more spin on it. And we'll show you how to do that. And what we're talking about is just how to we spin a shot. And again, it's a lot of times the players actually look at the pros on TV and watch how the balls actually spin and come back and how they stop. And we'll tell you that a lot of that has to do with the ball, the particular ball that you play, a softer ball or a wound ball. A lot of, there's no mean, there's not too many wound balls anymore, but what they'll have is a, a softer cover, something with you know the elastic that actually sticks on the club uh, longer than actually a serling ball or a two-piece ball. But what you'll find is there's a lot of technique to it, but most of it has to do with the actual type of ball that you play. Um, what we're going to show you here is we've got a shot here that's uh, a little bit downhill and we've got to fly it about maybe 30 or 40 maybe 30 or 40 feet and then try and spin it because we've got a pin that's pretty close to the edge here. And again, what are you going to see him do? What creates spin on a golf ball is loft of the club. So we're going to take a sandwich here. A lot of times they'll have, this is a 56, you'll see some players take a 60 degree. A 60 degree will loft it higher. And again, if you're trying to stop it quick, two things, two ways you can do it, loft it higher, put more spin on it. By actually adding loft to it, you're actually going to put a little bit more spin. And what we're going to do is talk about how the angle of the shot will actually affect the spin of the ball. So when we actually take a steeper uh, blow or a steeper downswing at the ball, you're going to actually hit the ball with a little bit more of an angle and it's going to create more backspin. The technique you can use to actually spin a ball more is actually keep your hands a little bit looser. What we're going to do is actually become very wristy on this shot and actually get so the club will slide basically under the ball but also on a descending blow and the only way you can do that is to actually keep a really really loose hand and you're going to actually get this club moving a lot at the bottom so the club actually will go under it. So what we'll do is we'll take a little shot again we're going to have a really relaxed relaxed hand take a little bit longer swing and try to get the ball spinning off the, the bottom of the club. Try one more time here. Again it doesn't matter whether it's a tight lie or you know, if you get it in the rough, you're going to get grass between the, the, the grooves of your club and the ball, which is going to take a lot of the spin off of it. And you're also going to lose the ability to actually get these grooves on the ball. So you can do is higher, again, a little bit, it may come off a little bit lower sometimes. The ball actually had a lot of spin 